Caverno uses the upstream Kubernetes policy working group policy report CRD. This is an open standard that many tools are open to implement and several of them do. Uh, Caverno, to my knowledge, is the only policy engine that uses this open reporting standard. But what this allows you to do is have Caverno generate what, what are called policy reports inside of the Kubernetes cluster that have the results of things like validation and those image verification policies. So what you can do when you have a policy that's reporting on those, whatever the, like the require labels that I showed earlier on, you'll get something like this, kube control get policy report across all namespaces. It'll tell you all of the things that are corresponding to that policy, how many pass, how many fail, so on and so forth. And here's just an example of what uh, the snippet of that policy report would look like for an entry that fails. So you can see here, I've got a uh, pod out in the default namespace called BusyBox, and it failed my rule called check for labels, and there's the message that returned. So messages can be templated with variables, and if uh, you wanted to, then the message would show you know, that, uh, the results of that templating. So um, an open standard that allows Caverno policies to be deployed initially in transparent mode, so it won't impact anything, you can go and see the results of what policies that you're interested in before you flip them to enforce mode. This is great for, um, for you folks that are looking to help developers to the correct path without just slamming the door shut on them on day one. Um, runs completely transparent. And the policy reporter, uh, which is an open source component, is able to pick these up and display them in a graphical format with a bunch of other things that are around it. So this is a little bit about policy reports.